Hey guys, we just finished an Airstream project out here um, on the Pertinalis River for a really cool Airstream called Casita Coyote. This is gonna be on Airbnb, so I will check, I'll uh, put the link there so you can check it out. If you're coming to Austin, please consider staying here. The owner's name is Nick, he's an awesome dude. We had so much fun doing this project. I wanna show you a very quick tour, so come on in. about the way this palette came out. We did um, an L-shaped built-in sofa. Um, we'll also put the before shots on here too so you can see what we're working with. We used uh, birch uh, wood for the bottom. There's two drawers. The L-shape is 40, did we do 40 inches deep? It was 40 inches deep. Jessica's behind the camera. She'd worked on this project with me. The 40 inches deep is perfect um, if you wanna be able to sleep here, like a twin size bed basically. That worked really, really well. We left this space open for records and baskets and just extra storage. The cushion itself is a four inch cushion, which works really nice to keep like some, like it's just more comfortable and it gives some hardiness to the material. We used a velvet fabric on the sofa. Austin Upholstery did this for us. Paulette, you did an awesome job. Um, we have to use these little alligator clips for the curtains on an Airstream. Those are usually like a special order item. We did a linen curtain here for privacy. Um, Miguel rewrapped this with wood. So we just, this used to have one of the old school like plastic drawer uh, door uh, closures here for the old Airstream, but we pulled that out so that it's all open for bookshelves and like games and things like that. Same with that piece. Uh, that actually used to be like a vent of some sort. And then we took the old, these used to be old speakers and we rewired that so that we now have switch on and off sconces. I'm pretty sure Bear just spit up on me. Hi Bear. Okay, so that works well. Those are from Dutton Brown. These are awesome sconces for a really good price point. Jessica and I went to Austin Antique Mall and found this amazing desk that's like crackle painted. It's literally like made for the space. We squealed when we saw it in the store. Has a nice little drawer so someone can sit here and work. Crossley record player, awesome decision. We've been jamming out to Gary Clark and Willie Nelson all day long. Speaking of Willie Nelson, he may or may not be a neighbor across the Pertinalis River. So we put a little art here and I actually wrote Hey Neighbor on there for fun. The tile backsplash is perfection. It's from Zia Tile. This is a two by six um, Saltillo tile that is glazed and we did a dry stack on that so that it just has this really cool, imperfect situation. We really like the way that looks without a grout line. The cabinetry we painted a very light peach kind of pink color and that works really well because honestly we're kind of tired of all the white cabinets but we wanted to keep it light and bright but give it a little bit of punch of color. Um, come back here. I'll show you. We did. Um, we did. Oh, he's asleep. He's asleep. <laughs> <laughs> um, we did some wood open shelves with leather straps. Honestly, y'all, these projects are really good for DIY. It's totally doable for you to do it yourself on a budget. This faucet we did. I really love the way this turned out. The finish on it is really nice. I can link this. Jessica found this. It's a great find. Um, a over drop in sink which was nice because we found out when cutting this butcher block from Ikea that the it doesn't go all the way through so when you have an undermount sink here you would see the edge and it was ugly so we changed it to a drop in quartz sink <laughs> Um, we wanted an old school retro type refrigerator, however those are, tend to be sort of expensive. We found this Frigidaire for a really good price point. That was a great find. One thing I wanted to note on this upper shelf was because of the stove top here, the induction cooktop, we went ahead and kicked this back a couple of inches so the, you know, when the heat rises it has a place to go. This doesn't have a ventilation system. Nobody's going to be doing any high powered cooking in here so I'm not really concerned about that. Um, we did do oversized knobs for a little fun punch. And this is some artwork that we got commissioned by Linda Papa. I will link her as well. Um, this is Casita Coyote. So this is our little mascot. And we have the moon. Y'all know I love the moon. I just love like moons looking at the coyote, coyotes howling at the moon. This is like our little illustration for this perfect piece of art. Um, Jessica and I projected this onto the wall. Super easy. Linda sent us the digital art. You can totally do this, you guys. Just have fun. Don't be too much of a perfectionist about it. 
I've tried not to be a perfectionist. And then this little grass and stuff is nice. Um, coming here, we have the bathroom. And the bathroom just has a really nice, this is a great Airstream sink bowl, you guys. I'll have to link that too. I love the size and scale. The faucet works really nice. We did this little tiny um, mirror from Wayfair. And then this is great. So little trick here to the trade. Uh, this Airstream has a bench cut out. So we took a shower curtain and cut one little section here so that it keeps going over that bench. Nice little, we did a copper DIY copper rod, clear uh, rings, really nice. The grout is from Grout 360. I have mentioned them on the channel before. This is penny tile, little plant. That is a pothos plant, so it's gonna love being in the shower where it gets a lot of moisture. Uh, barn door, we have a really nice, like simple barn door. El baño, in keeping with the Casita Coyote theme. This is a DIY uh, closet rod. We did some grout, uh, some grommets, and D, or actually just rings. We were looking at D rings, but those are just rings. Copper hangers. Um, we cut through the wheel well, or covered part of the wheel well here, rather, and did just a nice plywood. Equipaje, a key, luggage here for people to set their luggage. And then here you have the bedroom, and we did a Moroccan light off of Etsy. Um, this lumbar pillow is from Made Trade. We absolutely love them. Please check them out. And we had curtains made, custom made, another Dutton Brown uh, sconce, a little tapestry here from Urban Outfitters. And one thing to note, because I've talked about this on the channel before, Airstreams are, ha you know, they have curved lines, so hanging art can be tricky. With a tapestry, it works well. We just did a little Velcro, so it puts it back toward the back of the wall because when you hang something in an Airstream, it hangs straight down. Then you have an awkward space behind it. Look at there. Um, I'm wrapping up. I think that's about it, you guys. There's storage under here, and yeah, that's it. That's the tour for Casita Coyote. Last little finish. I love this rug. This is from Pompous out of Australia. Check their rugs out. They're gorgeous. And we'll land on the most epic part about this. Hold on, I have to show you the door. Vamanos, let's go. There's the view. You guys have to come check it out. It'll put, you know, a great place to rest. <laughs> Bears are a great example. Sunset's gonna be epic, and there's tons of birds. If you love bird watching, seriously, you could just relax and bird watch. Listen to Willie, Gary Clark on the record, have a beer. Let's do it. Casita Coyote, thanks for joining us, you guys. We'll see you next week on the channel.